I am Dr. Gomez Sanchez, cardiologist uh, from Madrid. Uh, we are the ECC uh, Congress at uh, London. And we're going to talk about pH, pulmonary hypertension, and the new uh, ECC guidelines. Uh, with me, uh, Dr. Antonio Vaz from Lisbon, Dr. Nazareno Gallier from Bologna, and Dr. Mark Umber from Paris. Different question from each or one. Dr. Vaz, uh, related with the, the, the new guidelines, what, what is new in diagnosis of pH? Well, uh, as you know, uh, the, all the diagnoses are composed of symptoms and then examinations. Symptoms, of course, uh, one of the most important is the dyspnea in young people with, without an explanation. In terms of the new uh, uh, diagnostic tools, uh, the, this guideline has added the new criteria for ECHO in which combining, combining the uh, peak tricuspid velocity, uh, velocity with other echo uh, suggestion of pH will, will allow three levels of suspicion, low, moderate, and high. high. Thank you. Dr. Gallier, uh, this uh, disease pH, especially uh, pulmonary transplantation, is a rare disease and have no cure. What is the, the new treatment, uh, uh, the new uh, therapeutic goals in the new guidelines? Yes, we are proposing uh, a new comprehensive treatment algorithm, starting uh, with the education of the patients for the uh, daily uh, activity, and uh, with a new strategy also for uh, the use of uh, drug therapy, we uh, indicate early combination of the different classes of drugs, we give also indication to establish the adequacy of this treatment strategy and according to the adequacy we further may escalate drug therapy or in the most advanced cases uh, we can indicate uh, also uh, lung transplantation. Okay, thank you. Uh, Dr. Umber, Mark, the group 4 of PH is uh, chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension and other uh, obstruction. Is, the, is there any advance in the uh, classification of, of therapeutic algorithms in this uh, disease? Yeah, thank you. It's a very important point. CTEF, chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension, at the difference to other pH subgroups, is a curable disease. You can cure a CTEF with surgery, with pulmonary endarterectomy. So it's really important to make the diagnosis right. So when we have started with a pH diagnosis and when we have excluded the two most important causes, lung disease, heart disease, we have to start with a very simple examination, VAQ lung scan, ventilation mm -hmm. perfusion, lung, perfusion lung scan. Right. And then if there is mismatch defect, perfusion defect with normal ventilation, then you have to refer this patient to centers with expertise in that setting to make the proper imaging and to see whether or not the patient is curable by surgery. If not curable by surgery, we have new proposals in terms of medical therapy and in terms of interventional therapy with balloon pulmonary angioplasty. So it's a very fast moving field. Well, we have to summarize. Uh, in PH, the important is the, uh, the clinical suspicion and after perform echo in order to uh, obtain a high probability of diagnosis correctly, adequately uh, pH. Treatment is also really important. We have new uh, advance, new therapeutic targets, a new drug that can improve uh, survival. And uh, as you agree, Dr. Gallier? Absolutely, and uh, all the process diagnosis and treatment should be performed in expert centers because the expertise in rare disease is very, very important. Yeah, thank you. And uh, finally, the, the group four of diagnosis of PAs, that is uh, chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension and other obstruction, is really important, the, the, the diagnosis uh, algorithm uh, using ventilation perfusion scan, because in 60% of the cases, the, uh, the treatment is uh, surgical, endarterectomy and this uh, disease uh, have cure. So thank you very much Thank for you. all of you. Thanks.